The Moi University College of Health Sciences was started as the Faculty of Health Sciences in the year 1988 with its first dean, Professor H. N. K. Mengech, who was appointed in the year 1989. Um, we had a directive from government and, um, the, and Moi University to start a medical school literally from scratch. There was no curriculum, there, was, there were no members of staff, there wasn't any infrastructure, and, uh, and there was no budget for it. The program started with a lot of challenges because we were, we were new. We didn't have classes. We used to ride um, bicycles to RVTI all the way close to KCC and back. That's where we had our classes and we had our hostels just opposite the hospital. So we used to ride the bikes, the curriculum was not finalized. The Faculty of Health Sciences uh, started in a, a small house, which is currently the School of Public Health. Starting a medical school is, 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 is extremely complex, it's extremely expensive, and very many people at that point appreciated um, what they had decided to embark on. Um, the infrastructure alone is, 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 is massive. Um, it does not matter how many medical students you have, but you have to have the minimum number of departments that are re recommended by the medical practitioners and dentist board. So I found myself going to Senate and asking for 24 departments, and the Senate could not believe that to start off I had to have 24 departments. So we had a debate. Uh, ultimately, and they agreed to give me about 18. The faculty then had 40 pioneer medical students who were admitted in October of the year 1990 and graduated in the year 1996 and 1997. In the year 1998, the Institute of Public Health became independent. This institute was later in the year 2002 changed into the School of Public Health. It has since led to establishment of four schools. The School of Medicine, School of Public Health, School of Nursing, and School of Dentistry. In the same year 1998, the Bachelor of Science Nursing program started as a department in the Faculty of Health Sciences with one member of academic staff. The School of Nursing uh, was established in 2011. However, the program of nursing has been going on since 1998. The three departments that are in existence as of now is the Department of Community Health Nursing, Education and Administration, and then there is the Department of uh, Other Child and Mental Health Nursing, and there is the Department of Midwifery and Gender. The undergraduate program has been going on until uh, nine, until now, 2006, when we established a, a master's program. The School of Dentistry was launched in the year 2007, having started as the Department of Dental Health in the School of Medicine in the year 1994. As a founding dean, uh, we started off uh, from really no home. We were housed in the School of Medicine in the uh, building where MTRH is currently situated now. But during the last seven years of my tenure as dean, we were able to, uh, with the support of the university management, we were able to construct a home for the school. The School of Dentistry is currently situated at the Public Health, Dentistry and Nursing, uh, what is called the PDN complex. With the successful establishment of four schools under the Faculty of Health Sciences, the College of Health Sciences was finally established and launched on the 20th of September the year 2011. The School of Medicine has 18 departments. Um, 
Moi University School of Medicine is located at the Moi Teaching and Referral Hostel Outpatient Building at the MTRH Moi University College of Health Sciences and the complex on Nandi Road in Eldoret. This was the first school to be established in the year 1988 as the Faculty of Health Sciences. By number of departments, this is the biggest school in the university. Uh, there is no school that has as many departments as this uh, school has. Being the largest school in the college, School of Medicine has the following departments. Surgery and Anesthesiology, Internal Medicine, Human Anatomy, Behavioral Sciences, Pharmacology and Toxicology, Medical Education, Medical Microbiology and Parastology, Hematology and Blood Transfusion, Medical Biochemistry, Family Medicine, Medical Physiology, Radiology and Imaging, Immunology, Child Health and Pediatrics, Orthopedics and Rehabilitation, Histopathology and Forensic Medicine, Reproductive Health, Medical Physiology and Mental Health. The school offers the following programs, undergraduate programs, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, and Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy. Graduate programs, Master of Medicine in Orthopedic Surgery, Master of Medicine in Radiology and Imaging, Master of Medicine in General Surgery, Master of Medicine in Internal Medicine, Master of Medicine in Child Health and Pediatrics, Master of Medicine in Family Medicine, Master of Psychiatry, Master of Medicine in Reproductive Health, Master of Science in Gynecological Oncology, Master of Science in International Health Research Ethics, Master of Science in Immunology, Master of Science in Medical Education, and PhD in Medical Education. It has now been built to a point where it has influence within the health sector and produces uh, uh, graduates that have given service and are uh, well recognized, not only locally and internationally as well. I think the future is great and I think that with the developments that are going on, it should have a greater impact than it has had so far. Some of the achievements during the tenure as a dean were, in fact, the most memorable one is one of our professors got uh, Elder of the Burning Spear Award from the Excellency, the President. The other awards the students have been getting uh, when they go for conferences and uh, meetings outside and within the country. In fact, even an academic, we were the scrub champions in a, among universities in Kenya. By my reckoning, we, I think we have the largest number of professors uh, in the university uh, coming from this school. Uh, we are a regional hub for research. Uh, most of the changes that you will see in policy regarding uh, uh, HIV, uh, regarding uh, child health, regarding mental health, a lot of the policy changes you will find in this country and, and elsewhere are informed by research that has been carried out in this school and by members of the school. For you to see, we can introduce some tropic instruments depending on the aspirates. The School of Nursing started as a Department of Nursing in the Faculty of Health Sciences in the year 1998 with 20 students in Bachelor of Science Nursing. Masters of Science in Nursing in Maternal and Neonatal Health was introduced in the year 2006, the month of September, and has graduated 10 students to date. The school values excellence and innovation in preserving and advancing the art of science of nursing in the scholarly domains of nursing education, practice and research. When you think of nursing program, think of it being an art and a science. You have to have a science behind it. 
And that's why out there we are emphasizing that we need people to have taken science and to have been strong in science. The school has three departments, namely Department of Community Health, Nursing Administration, Education and Research, Department of Midwife Free and Gender, and the Department of Medical, Surgical and Mental Health. The School of Public Health was established in the year 1998 in recognition of the need for training high-level manpower in public health. We have uh, restructured it in such a way that uh, emphasis is going to be on uh, producing graduates that will be able to work in areas related to preventive and promotive uh, health care. We have a very strong um, in, uh, school industry link and we find that even in the teaching we have some of our colleagues from the ministry uh, playing a key role and therefore um, we also undertake research um, in these programs. Students engage in research work in hospitals across Kenya. We also draw our students from um, uh, hospitals across uh, Kenya. Almost uh, every county is represented in terms of our student enrollment. The training programs of the school have been developed to meet the university's mission of producing skilled and practical health professionals who will contribute towards the realization of the country's national goals laid out in the Vision 2030. As a public health leader, the school bears unique responsibility for research that improves the health of populations, communications and societies. The departments under this school include health policy management, epidemiology and nutrition, environmental health and the Department of Disaster Prevention and Management. Apart from its own courses in the school, the School of Public Health offers service courses to other College of Health Sciences schools, namely Biostatistics, Research Methods, Health Systems Management, Human Nutrition and Epidemiology. School of Public Health is the only school in the college which has programs in Nairobi campus. In collaboration with AMREF Health Africa, it runs several academic programs in the city. In Nairobi, we have both the uh, AMREF program, which started in 2008. Here in Nairobi, it started in 2010. And recently, we had a new baby on board, which we coordinate under Nairobi, and that is field epidemiology which started last year. And for my uh, bazaar year, we have um, five, five um, tracks when you come to choose MPH, which is a two-year program. Since 2008, we have been collaborating on public health, uh, Masters in Public Health, which is a two-year program. And the program has five uh, tracks, uh, epidemiology, uh, human nutrition, disaster management, health services management, uh, health promotion. Uh, those are the main tracks that we've been uh, pursuing in uh, training at master's level. We are also proud to partner with the AMREF Health Africa in offering diploma courses. We have a higher diploma in community health, which uh, started in 2005 and it's also in the fold as part of our collaboration with uh, Mo University. As a strategic partner, Mo University School of Public Health has been able to benefit a lot in terms of uh, securing very important uh, research programs. One of the key 
uh, training awards that was awarded to the School of Public Health is the FELTEP uh, program. FELTEP means the field epidemiology, which is a master's level program. Uh, it is run in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and is based at Kenyatta. As a partner with Moy University, one of the things AMREF believes in is um, training with evidence. And uh, one of the focus of the MPH program is to produce graduates who are experienced at community level. So AMRE provides practical sites for our students. All our students who request attachment get direct attachment into AMRE projects. A number of projects include the Kibera project, which is currently being managed by an MPH student who is about to graduate. We have other projects across the country where we give first priority to MPH students who require practical. For the goodness of having more university, a university's role is very, very clear. It is teaching, it's research, it's service. And uh, uh, since we started working with uh, our Moi University, our research portfolio has grown uh, because the students who come to do their MPH have to do their dissertations, and dissertations, of course, uh, do, uh, uh, it's, it's about, writing a dissertation, is about doing uh, research and doing it in the field and then bringing out the findings for, uh, for uh, learning, for transfer of knowledge and all this. So I think as far as uh, research is concerned, we have seen growth in terms of uh, publications. We have seen growth in terms of what we can do as uh, AMREF. School of Dentistry. Initially, dental health was part of the Department of Surgery and Traumatology in the then Faculty of Health Sciences. Thereafter, an independent department was formed in the year 1996 and mandated to prepare the groundwork for the start of School of Dentistry as it continued to participate in the teaching of medical and nursing students in the faculty. The School of Dentistry, originally due to the challenge of uh, obtaining and maintaining equipment, it was necessary that uh, we look to our partners and supporters to start. So we started with uh, uh, um, donations from a very good partner in Germany called Support Africa, who gave us 18 uh, used units which we are using. Uh, since then, the school has been able to upgrade from the second, the used units that were given to us um, to new units that we use now for our pediatric dental programs, for restorative dentistry, for oral surgery and all the other areas of, of uh, oral health. Its academic year is divided into three terms and it is structured under the following academic departments. Department of Conservative Dentistry and Prosthetics, Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Oral Medicine, Oral Pathology and Radiology, Department of Community Preventive Dentistry and Periodontology, Department of Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics, Department of Oral Biology, Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry, and the Department of Dental Clinical Services. Through the training of dental surgeons, the Moi University mission and vision of producing graduates with practical, intellectual and appropriate skills to meet the need and demands of Kenyan and global population is achieved. The curriculum is based on basics of medical education, basics of biomedical sciences and pathology, dental, preclinical and clinical sciences, ethics, community health and research. At the School of Dentistry, we have our own uh, clinical, we provide our own clinical services to the public and we also use it for teaching purposes. 
The clinical services that we provide are to the general public are the diagno diagnostic services, restorative treatment, uh, periodontal treatment, prosthetic treatment, outreach oral health services, pediatric and orthodontic services, minor oral surgeries like extractions, and dental laboratory services. What is the underlying problem? What are some of the things that predispose to infection that can cause extensive necrosis like this? The College of Health Sciences has a unique yeah. model of teaching its students which employs modern innovative methods. See, from the report I got it was 96% yeah. in the morning and on oxygen via nasal prongs or to vulnerability tests that yeah. I can consider starting. Moi University decided to use the innovative medical education methods. Using innovative medical education methods meant that we no longer concentrate on giving lectures, demonstrations, uh, the traditional field practice, the uh, uh, team teaching, but instead went to the more modern methods which are characterized by what is called the spices method. It uses spices, cobs, small group tutorials, problem-based learning, electives, case study, computer-assisted instructions, self-directed learning, independent study, and the project. She does not have any latrine in the homestead. Water has to be fetched from a distant stream. Her children occasionally pass stool with worms, which she believes are caused by wild fruits, which the children often eat. When you allow them now to go and search for information, and they participate actively, you know you promote that lifelong learning. They don't forget easily. They are really getting involved in the actual search for information. Unlike now in some places where you sit in class, you only wait for the notes to be given. You are like a passive student. Listen. So we try to promote this lifelong learning because you are active. You are the one searching for information. And uh, I think if there is an area where the student find it, they search for information and they didn't get it, they were not satisfied. They can look for the resource persons to kind of clarify the issues that they were not clear. The SPICES model is one proven way of ensuring desired learning. It contains methods that emphasize learning above and beyond teaching. Some traditional methods are made more systematic for innovative use of SPICES as a major approach to innovative methods. The College of Health Sciences boasts of a very rich learning resource center which houses the College of Health Sciences library as well as other resources for the students and research population of the College of Health Sciences and the university as a whole. It's a learning resource center because it's considered a place where students come and make a lot of references. Medical students do not read like art students. They come and make references and they go back to the, the classrooms or they go back to the hospital to go and uh, put what they have referred to into practice. So this uh, college uh, learning resource center, actually it caters for all the schools that are here, which are four schools, and um, they offer the current technology. We have e-resources which includes e-books and e-journals. Actually, we subscribe to about 22 um, databases, which contain almost 20,000 e-books and e-journals, which are full text, which our students use. We take them through the information literacy so that they know how to access these uh, e-resources. We also have good facilities. We have the video conferencing facility. We have uh, a current modern student lab, we have adequate space for students to read, 
we have a binary section where they can bind their thesis and uh, 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 projects that they make. Of course, we offer services like circulation and um, references. So actually, our main aim is to support teaching, learning, and research at the College of Health Sciences. The students uh, from uh, Mo University, College of Health Sciences, come here uh, during the post uh, uh, exercise. Uh, they learn what takes place, what the pathologists try to find. Our students also of Mo teaching of College of Health Sciences are registrars during their postgraduate, and they sometimes follow up cases they have treated in the ward during the internship or during their postgraduate to find out what happens in the in the in the in the mortuary. Within the anatomy lab we have uh, two computer labs. This particular lab has got 48 workstations uh, where the students uh, use for their demonstration. We have another one where we have 12 workstations giving a total of 60 workstations for the students. So during the practicals, the students come to the lab, and look at the tissues within the lab, and also look at some tutorial problems within the lab using these computers. Moise Kobe's program is very unique because once it's working with the community, it sticks with that community and makes sure that that community is developing in its educational programs and in its service programs across the board, not just in health. So it is a truly community approach. COBS is part of SPICE's model in innovative medical education. It is a holistic approach to medical education whereby it relates hospital-based diseases and the community where the patients come from and promotes preventive health care. COBS inculcates community medicine in the training of health professionals in a practical way and promotes community health research. It fulfills the roles of medical schools to the communities around it. We've been having students from Mo University, the COBS students, they are always accompanied here by the HOD Young. And when they come, they used to come for three weeks, but they added, nowadays they come for six weeks. When they come, we offer them accommodation. And uh, the first week, they rotate within the facility. After rotating within the facility, and then they go to the, to the community. And uh, what they do in the community, they do community diagnosis and uh, they have assisted the community to construct and, and protect around five water springs since they started coming. Uh, after the six weeks, they write a report and it is because of the COP students that the Ambat Center was started here. It was sponsored by the, by the cops. What they have done again, fighting the, the chigas, they have assisted them. This is a college-wide activity which runs across all schools under the college. All College of Health Sciences academic members of staff are involved in cops activities that are disseminated in theory, clinical, health management and field activities. 27% of the training curricular time is spent on the COBS program. COBS introduces students in all the programs across the college to community health. It conducts community entry and community diagnosis to first and second year students. In third year of study, students are introduced on how to develop a research proposal on urban and peri-urban health issues. They work with county health management teams on the running of county and national health services. They also implement interventional projects in the communities. Moi has the unique experience of teaching students from the various schools, teaching them together in the COPES program. Because Moi University believes that all students should be able 
and capable of working with the community level. Moy University College of Health Sciences has over years collaborated with many institutions both locally and internationally. The most critical of all is the Moy University Teaching and Referral Hospital, which is the teaching hospital, the Ampath and Indiana University. I have seen seen uh, from that time uh, both Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital and uh, more University, uh, School of Medicine, uh, or School of Health Sciences, uh, College of Health Sciences. It was a School of Medicine, is developed to the College of Health Sciences, uh, and they have both grown tremendously. Uh, both have uh, expanded, uh, the college having many schools now, and the hospital has uh, uh, developed to become a truly referral hospital, it has, uh, the bed capacity has gone up and uh, the most important bit is that the personnel, the specialists, especially the more university lecturers have made a big difference to the care, the service care. The persons employed by the hospital do participate in our teaching, so we have a symbiotic relationship and it's a very good working relationship so far. In that working relationship there have been times when people within the university have been requested to head departments in the hospital where they had deficiencies or when they lacked staff. Like I do remember I have headed their mental health department for about four years. Mm. I work for Moy University, but I also had the newborn unit at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, which then means we are able to work very closely. One is your employer, but the other one also benefits from the clinical services. Working with Moy University means we teach medical students and other students, including the nursing the students from the nursing department and physiotherapy. And uh, uh, this is our main teaching facility. So on, a, on an academic day, uh, we bring the students for the ward round, uh, they present in the ward rounds and we teach them during those sessions. We came here basically as partners with the new faculty of what was become the College of Medicine um, with the idea of helping bring up a second medical school uh, uh, for Kenya. Uh, and uh, the whole process was geared around uh, the medical school and um, the building of the medical school with Indiana keeping faculty on site here to work under, the, under Kenyan leadership in the new School of Medicine. Empath is really uh, the embodiment of the academic medical center, um, represents the power of the University College of Health Sciences working with the hospital, working with the Ministry of Health to improve care, teaching, and research uh, in, uh, in the medical uh, and social behavioral fields. Other collaborators are Lin Choping University, Purdue University, Brown University, University of Toronto, Faculty of Medicine and Asante Consortium, universities in East, West and Southern Africa, Alexandria University, Suez Canal University and Suez University, Erasmus Medical Center, Maastricht University, Boston School of Field Studies, County Health Centers and Hospitals through Cobb's Field Activities, among others. Moy University College of Health Sciences, in collaboration with the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital and other partners, has seen enormous development projects, among them the Riley Mother and Baby Hospital, as well as the Shoe for Africa Hospital, which have boosted the child health, pediatric, and maternal health care studies for both the graduate and undergraduate learners, as well as researchers at the College of Health Sciences. The Chandaria Oncology and Terminal Diseases Center is a big resource for research and learning for both the students and academicians at the college. Our research has also grown from uh, uh, training, uh, doing research uh, only at a small scale. Now we have moved into big research areas uh, coordinated through especially AMPATH. It's from the College of Health Sciences that uh, we get some of the best 
volleyballers, the university team, the best tennis players, the best in terms of uh, martial arts, especially in karate and taekwondo. And these are people who are competing and making the university win trophies, such, such as the ones you can see behind me. Mo University is where I got the opportunity to know that there is more out there in the world, the, that you can do a lot. You, you don't have to just graduate, get a job, and that's the end of life. It, it gave me the thirst to learn more. I believe I'm where I am because of the training and the exposure we had in my university. Uh, I remember not only were we well trained in terms of uh, knowledge, but also we were exposed very, very early to the public health system. You were brought in very well in clinical care, at the same time also grounded very well in administration. The model that we have produces uh, uh, well trained not only medics in their profession, but they also are able to manage uh, hospitals uh, in which they, they are actually employed in. So we are producing more than medical doctors, or yeah, we are producing managers of health institutions. I came in to the School of Dentistry determined to benefit from the exchange program. Well, here I've managed to go for the um, for an exchange program at Indiana University School of Dentistry, and it was a wonderful experience. Since I came out from my university, I'm actually feeling I'm totally somebody who's different. My skills have really improved administratively, and my general performance has really improved. The Mo University has a unique way of teaching the problem-based learning, which to me, I enjoyed because it enabled me as a student to participate in the learning, to read and prepare for the classes. And this helps in the remembering of what you've learned in each and every area. So students become part of the learning process and therefore it is easy for them to be able to remember what they have been taught and even to read and research more around the topic. Being there for six years, uh, I think it made me to be, adopted me to be a good uh, person, all-rounded, not only in terms of uh, uh, book and uh, degree-wise, but uh, in terms of uh, a person as a general. I learned the hard way. By the time we were leaving, I think we were ready for the world. It has molded us to be doctors with a difference. Uh, what Moi University has instilled in us as a, as a, as a alumni is that it has made us, made us to stand out among others, among our peers. Uh, it teaches you resilience, hard work. It teaches you how to work as a team. And uh, that is one virtue that we are, we are carrying along even as we leave uh, more University. We are training health professionals, uh, not for now and not for here, but we are training health professionals for the whole world and for the future.